Hello, bonjour, salut. Je m'appelle Yossi Sassi. Uh, this is for Guitar Extreme Magazine. Yeah. Alors, je parle un petit peu de français, mais je comprends comme ci, comme ça. Alors aujourd'hui, I will speak in anglais. <laughs> je suis désolé. Ok, so here is a quick guitar lesson for you out there. And hopefully if you know my style and you've heard my music, maybe from my solo album Melting Clocks with Marty Friedman, or uh, if you've seen our shows on tour, Guitar Universe 2012, etc. Or maybe you know my work with uh, Orphaned Land from the more of the oriental metal side, uh, which I'm the founding member, composer, producer as well. And uh, today um, I've been asked to show you some nice tricks, some nice things that can possibly help you learn a bit more about this amazing instrument called the guitar. I will be demoing on uh, my special uh, designed guitar, uh, which I call the Buzukitara. It has double necks. This one is acoustic. So I will use it less, but I will focus on the traditional guitar that we all know. I am sorry that we are on tour now throughout Europe. All I have here for uh, practice and backstage is this little thing, which sounds not something, but it's enough. When you play guitar from the heart, any amplifier is okay. Don't need big, big. <laughs> of course, on stage it's something different and in studio. So first thing I want maybe to show you today is how you use uh, some uh, arpeggios in a more melodic way and how you can take this technique which is very uh, cold or really technical thing and turn it into something with a soul that has a heart in it and has your sound into it and create really riff and phrases. So I think maybe most of you are using uh, all kinds of arpeggios, yes? All these kinds of things, yeah? All this uh, or... All these kind of things, right? So this, this kind of arpeggios are, are very common. You can use the, these simple ones, you know. Or really the longer ones. But the thing I want to show you is how you use them to create music. Because this is just technique, you know. You can do this all day, it doesn't mean a lot. Well, in one of my songs in Simple Thing, and that's the name of the song, I think the, this arpeggio and creates it into a riff, into a guitar phrase. For example, I take this arpeggio. And later this. And then... And I connect them all together to a phrase. Okay, so let's maybe hear the phrase first and then I'll show you what it's built of. I'll go with you easy, slowly on the parts. So basically it sounds like this. So what do we have on this riff? Basically it's an arpeggio, yeah, like you would do. So we take the first arpeggio, then a second arpeggio, yes, and then the third. I don't go all the way to the... I just go... I just go to the Middle Eastern scale. Um, in Arabic music in the Middle East, it comes from Makamat, it's called Hijaz. But in Western music, luckily it has uh, a, an equivalent, and that is uh, called uh, the harmonic minor perfect fifth. So if you're more into theory, that's the one, harmonic minor perfect fifth. The or in this case, the D minor. So 
that's this scale. It's a very exotic scale that you can use to color your riffs, you know? So we have it here combined with the arpeggio. So we have the first one. This little ornament at the end. Okay, so let's take it again slowly. The first arpeggio. And the second. And the third. And then there. So you have everything here. You have technique. You have an exotic scale, and you have the technique of it, and you have the feel of that. And when you combine it all together, you get like a cool sounding riff. So that's first example, in case that you know, and you've been playing for some time now, and you know the more the technique, the arpeggios, etc. I want to maybe now go to something more simple, to another example, and try to show you something uh, similar, but a bit more simple. So the scales that I'm using, the Middle Eastern scales, are, like I said, a lot of them, they're, they're a mix of many exotic scales and modes, etc. But one of the main one is the harmonic minor perfect fifth. That this scale basically goes from... Yeah, or... If I continue... this scale you can do a lot of things with it. For example, you can use um, bands and vibrato to get a lot of feel into these scales. A lot of musicians sometimes play this like very simple like but when you add a semitone, half tone or quarter tones into the bands you can actually get something nice out of it, you know, and get the atmosphere of this kind of music. So... If instead of playing the... the then it sounds much more oriental. You get the Middle Eastern thing, you know, the Middle Eastern touch to it. So for me it's natural growing up in the Middle East and playing Oriental rock for, you know, 25 years now. But you can easily get this kind of sound if you work on it right. So for example, this is another uh, phrase, another riff, guitar riff from uh, my album Melting Clocks on the opening track called Drive. And this track in uh, B in a B minor harmonic and it goes like this So this is the phrase, this is the riff. And basically the notes are quite simple. So let's, let's follow them now slowly. We have the notes.
So these are the basic notes, all, all on this scale. So basically all the notes land on this one, on this place. But what I add to them that makes this magic, this touch that makes it sound so genuine and true to, to my music and the way it sounds, is the feel. All these bends, you know? If you prefer up or down, it doesn't matter, you have to follow your heart. This is not technique. You, you, can, you can probably, you know, sit at home and, and try to practice it. Yes, but at the end of the day, the way that you bend the string or you do your vibrato, it's all about your heart and the way that your heart beats. Everyone has a different vibrato. And that's the magic about the guitar. That's why this instrument is so beautiful that you get all this cultural diversity and different people playing so different on the same six strings. So let's see this with a bit of vibrato and the bends, the feel, so to say, that every half tone I have, I don't play. But... Like this way. And then it sounds... I hope you enjoyed this short lesson. Uh, merci beaucoup for watching and hopefully see you next time in concerts. Enjoy my music. A la prochaine. A bientôt.